Hi, this is Nadia from Lifter LMS. And in this video, I will show you that how you can remove the student dashboard endpoints and section, or you can say how you can remove the student dashboard tabs and the section. Let's say I don't want this my achievement tab because I'm not offering the achievement to my students. So now I can remove these tabs. Also, I can remove this my achievement section. So for that, first we have to visit our WordPress dashboard to remove the endpoints. Then we have to visit Lifter LMS and settings. And here we have to visit accounts tab. And if we scroll now, we have this student dashboard endpoints. So we have to remove the endpoints that we want to remove actually. For example, I want to remove this view on my achievement options. So now I have to just delete this text and I have to save changes. And now if I visit my dashboard and refresh it, you can see I don't have this my achievement anymore. Also, I don't have the my achievement section as well. So this is how you can remove the tab and section. Let's say I also don't want this my favorites. So I can also remove it uh, following the same process. I have to just remove this text and then save changes and if i visit my dashboard and refresh it i don't have the my favorites option so i also want to add one thing that if you want to remove the my courses and my memberships tab and section it will uh it will be a bit different for example if i remove the my courses endpoints and if i refresh the page you can see i have the my courses section now and also it's visible also on the left side i cannot see the my courses uh, tab so when you will remove the my courses in points it will remove it from the tab but the section will be visible same for the memberships when you will remove the membership in points the memberships tab will be removed but the membership section will be still visible here so if i refresh it you can see i don't have the memberships tab on the left side but still I have the membership section. So when you will want to uh, remove the my courses and my membership section, we have to add some custom CSS code. So I will add that code link on the video description. So when you will try to remove the memberships and courses section, you can use that uh, CSS to remove the section. Also, for some reason, if uh, any other sections it is feasible you can remove that you can hide that with custom css but if, when you will remove the endpoints those tab will be removed from the left side so i hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching